I'm going to demonstrate a TCAR on a 76 year old lady with the symptomatic high grade right carotid stenosis. You can see it's just beyond the bifurcation and moderately calcified. We expose the carotid artery uh, with the approach between the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid. Uh, you can see the first of uh, horizontal mattress sutures of fibroprolene being placed here in the anterior wall of the carotid. We typically mark the site uh, with a uh, marking pen. Uh, we then place these on a rubber shod and leave them off the field. You can see that the needle is now inserted basically up to the check mark. Uh, it's important not to advance this into the back wall or pull the carotid up. We then put a sheath. The sheath also has a check mark. And over the sheath, we advance this um, sheath, which comes with the micro access kit. You can see we've advanced it up to the third check mark. Once this is established, we place a piece of tubing on the on the end of the sheath, and that allows us to shoot an arteriogram. We optimize the angle of the CT scan prior to starting this. We've then advanced that micro wire up into the external carotid. Two choices to lay short or to uh, with the O3-5 wire advanced into the external. This gives you a lot more support. Now the T-car sheath, on route sheath, is being advanced up uh, onto the anterior aspect of the carotid order. Once this has been achieved, again, the micro wire in the external carotid is a very stable position. and. We're now going to, you can see us advancing that sheath up onto the anterior wall of the carotid. Once it's in place, the dilator is removed and it's secured in place with the tool of silk ligature. Uh, prior to shooting that arteriogram, we've established reverse flow. Reverse flow is in place. You can see the reverse flow system that is attached to the femoral vein and the flow controller, which allows you to stop flow or high flow uh, or low flow reversal. All of the crossing is done under high flow. And now we can see we're going to plan to pre-dilate this. We're going to pre-dilate with a four millimeter balloon. The carotid artery, of course, is occluded at this point in time. This can be done either with a lamelle or it can be done with an angle of the bakey. Um, the, the balloon is being positioned. Uh, we're watching the hemodynamics and we briefly inflate the balloon. And then remove the, uh, the balloon. Once we've done that, in this case we selected an, uh, a 9 by 4 centimeter uh, stent. The stent is advanced up over the wire. Of course, it's a monorail system. It's positioned uh, centered upon the, the lesion, and the device is then deployed. Again, we are under flow, flow reversal, uh, high flow reversal at this particular point in time. Repositioning the stent. And then the stent is deployed by stabilizing the inner cannula and retracting the outer sheath. Fairly standard stent delivery system. Once we've done that, we uh, remove the stent delivery system, making sure the wire neither advances or retracts. We'll then perform a completion angiogram, make a decision whether post dilation is necessary. Uh, once the devices are removed, we usually leave it on high flow reversal for approximately two minutes uh, before re establishing anti grade flow. We, I typically use a Ramel so that you can actually see the carotid occlusion on this. Again, we inject up to the base of the skull and we can show that we release the flow reversal, and you can see that um, uh, flow reversal, of course, is still in place. Thank you.